title of That's Incredible, here's a few amazing shots. First up, Michael Adams of Boston College throws one up just like he planned it. I have seen it all, baby! Can't believe this watch. Yeah, that's just prayer time. That's just prayer time. He has great balance. Running one hand to Alibab Kuzi with the knee in the year. In a game a few years ago, this unbelievable shot traveled 92 feet. UCLA and Oregon provided this incredible finish as the high-flying Ducks pulled off a miracle. You want half-court bombs? Here's one by Pearl Washington of Syracuse. Here's another half-court prayer from Arkansas. Brigham Young's Danny Ainge pulled off this superhuman effort against Notre Dame in the 1981 NCAA tournament. Five seconds. Inside. Ainge scores for two seconds. One second on the clock. It is all over. It is all over. But it looked like Notre Dame was going to have Kelly Trapuca as the hero. The what hero's a great banner drive, is man. lost by Notre Dame. And the hero's banner goes to Danny Ainge. The late Len Bias showed his greatness with his buzzer beater for Maryland. When somebody touches the ball inbounds, Bias is going to have to take the shot. The moccasins are behind for the first time since there were 8.35 to play in the first half. One of the greatest no-call push in the back last second baskets occurred between Boston College and Providence. Kelly with the rebound, yes! You think Rick Pitino liked the call? And Rick Pitino can't believe what's happened. Georgia Tech literally stole this game away from Maryland in the final seconds. Has a foul again. Oh, there's the interception by the way. It's a win. Oh, slam jam, man. Time out for Gatlin. Throws the ball for Maryland. Anticipates. And Georgia Tech leads by two with a second to go. Oh, Jim Dalrymple took away the passing angle. He did not allow, did not allow Keith Gatlin to throw the ball. Now, watch it. Now, Ripple, he's making him throw the ball laterally. He's shutting off the pass, and there's the steal. Good night. Oh, yes. Wyoming had plenty of time. Two seconds to pull off this victory over Colorado State. Lucky to win it. Oh, he does. Does it count? Yes, it does. Nice call, coach. Here's a classic between Ohio University and Illinois State. The game was tied 47 all with under 20 seconds to play. When a steal and layup put Ohio ahead by two. McKinney on the dribble. Steal Robert Tatum on the breakaway with 15 seconds left. Ohio University's ahead. Robert Tatum got Now it was Illinois State's turn. With 12 seconds to play, they pushed the ball down court and trap on the sideline. Mullane off the baseline. Jeffers up. Good. Bingo. We're tied with two seconds left. Remember, that's plenty of time in college basketball. Here's what happens. Jeff Thomas will throw the ball in. Everybody is at midcourt. Except for Mark Zouard, who's playing defense on the backside. There the lob is. Devereaux goes up. Illinois State gets away. There's a shot up. It's good. It is good. Robert Tatum nailed it. 
As you can see, anything can happen in college basketball, and that's what makes it a great, exciting sport. You want more? Okay, here's some extra college hoop excitement. Three-pointer would win the game. Williams puts it in. It's good! Fullerton upsets UNLV. He misses it. The rebound. Stick High game! We go to overtime! It counts! Jeff Hodge for three in the win. Got it! South Alabama wins it! Take it as far as he can go. Here goes Murray Williams. Against West. Oh, my. And that's it. Sullivan, three-point three. land. Here yeah. he got it. Maverick Sullivan got it. wins it for Louisville at the buzzer. Two. Bradford with one. Gets it off. Counts him. It goes. Good. Great shot. Fairfield wins. Fairfield wins. Jackson got a shot away. Go!